Yeah guys, check in. Welcome back to another video. So I'm here, you know, with my subscriber Randy here. Mm -hmm. Yeah man, from the US. Um, born in Guyana. Yeah, right? born in Guyana. Born in yeah, Guyana. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, um, you know, Randy, you know, came to Jamaica, you know, for a short little time, you know, decided that he wanted to come and see us in person, you know, as, as in Colasmith TV team. So, we, you know, just went to the hill, drink some jelly, uh, come back at Twin Sister now and thing. Um, so, yeah, man, Randy, I go. Basically, you know, share a little, a little story with us. So, so my boss. yeah, good, good, good. So, Brandy uh, from Maryland, the United States, uh, I specifically came down here to meet this guy in person. And I only bought the ticket for three days um, just to reach up with him, to tell him thank you. And I'm going to share the story why I'm here to come here in person to tell him, you know, thank you for everything you, you know, you've been doing and so on. Yeah. So I have my own channel. My channel name is Fire TV. Um, I just started two months ago. And basically what I'm planning to do is go out throughout the Caribbean and try to reach, gain an audience so I can share this message with the younger people, younger generation that's coming up. Because if I'm sitting here today next to this man, that really inspired me. I feel like this message could uh, also impact some younger people that's coming up that, you know, you don't have to repeat that cycle over and over. So I'm actually shocked mm -hmm. that I'm actually sitting here next to you, man. <laughs> and it's, Bless it's a man. blessing just to be here and sitting with you. Appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, about two and a half months ago, uh, I was laying in my, in my bed and I had a, a, a revelation or enlightenment, whatever you want to call it, right? So mm -hmm. at one time I was a religious Christian, whatever you want to call it, you know, I was dedicated to the, to the belief. I used to take barrels of Bibles to Guyana in the interior, got up on stage and share and said this is the only truth. But today, I know colors don't feel the same way. I'm not here to attack anybody's beliefs or anything like that because there is something in that Bible that I took with me and carried me from when I left it 10, 15, or 10, 12 years ago, and it's still with me to this day. It's the most powerful parable in that Bible um, that actually changed my life today. And it's a parable about Jesus sowing seeds. Um, so one day I came home, you know, repeating the same thing over and over for months with, with work, and I was laying in bed, and I started going over that parable. And the part where Jesus says, the ones that fall on good grounds, those are the ones that reproduce a crop 30, 60, 1,000 times fold. And something dawned on me. So when you think of the word crop, you think of vegetation, you know, planting or whatever it is. I took that word crop out and I add my own word that makes most sense to me. And the word I add was copy. When I did add the word copy, a light bulb went off in my head. I realized that I came into this world with no knowledge, no understanding of anything. I gained all my knowledge from my uh, parents, my environment, my society, and so on. Schooling. And as I, you know, lay back down, I was thinking, oh, please do not tell me I'm a manifestation of somebody else's idea. That what I'm doing in my life today is based on somebody else's idea which could be my parents, family members, or the whole family as a whole. Because the business that I run in Maryland is the same exact thing my family are doing today. And the way they structure the business, I'm structuring my business the same exact way. So I said, and I, I, I told myself, damn, maybe that's why I'm not happy with what I'm doing. Even though it takes care of me, it feeds me, um, but there's something missing. Mm -hmm. I was telling colors earlier today, Throughout the, the years, I would buy digital equipment and I would stack them up and I would not use them. They're brand new sitting in my room, not touch, nothing. The mic that I have on today, this is probably the second time I'm putting this mic on. I had it for like two years. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. Today, I'm using the mic and, and today I'm sitting with colors. But anyway, the, it made me realize, okay, what do I want to do? And I know that I wanted to 
travel the world. I want to travel the Caribbean. I want to see my people. I want to see, instead of being in the United States, repeating the same thing over and over and not going anywhere and, and missing out on life, I said, you know what? I'm going to do what I want, what, what, what's burning inside of me, instead of repeating something that was passed down to me. I bought a ticket to Guyana. That's where my journey started. So I start documented over there. So right now I'm trying to gain the audience to spread this message more to the younger people. So now I'm here with Colors because this guy right here, I watched him from day one. Uh, faithfully, Colors, faithfully. Yeah. Every night I look forward to seeing a new episode. And I said, man, and I saw him grow. And I saw him grow and to, and for him to be able to move to fly out to Jamaica for the first time, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That really, really inspired me. I said, man, he's doing the same exact thing that I want to do. Right. And, uh, and what made, what, and then from, uh, it, it was Panama at first? Panama, yeah. And then, uh, um, it, uh, uh, we go Panama, then Curacao. Curacao, and yeah, now St. Vincent. Colombia, then now St. Vincent. So that's four different places this man has touched down to. Mm -hmm. And his crew has been with him. And I said, you know what? He's doing the same exact thing. And here I am in the U.S. repeating something over and over, and I'm not living for what I'm supposed to be doing. You know what I mean? So, bought this ticket to Jamaica, not knowing where I was coming to. Don't know anybody here beside these guys, right? Landed in Kingston. Um, got an Airbnb in Buff Bay. That Buff Bay is in Portland, Portland right? Portland, yeah, yeah, so in Portland, Jamaica. And I met some really, really nice people. Um, Garfield, uh, you know, has been with me from day one. You know, it took me around Jamaica, you know, made me feel at home. Yeah. Um, I came here personally to thank Colors because if it wasn't for him, that inspiration that I had 10 years ago that was sold into me would, would have never come back alive because by watching him, it nourished it. It's like watering that seed. And, and watch it grow inside of me and, and it build up that passion to go out there and do what I want to do. Mm. So I had to come here personally to thank him because if it wasn't for him, I won't be here today. I won't be trying to reach an audience to share this message with. Yeah. So Colors, thank you so much Lessons. from the bottom of my heart, Lessons. man. I came all the way down here to see you, your team. And I, I that, really, man. really appreciate everything you guys are doing. And you're impacting a lot of people right now. Yeah. And there's a lot, I know there's a lot of people right now that's probably want to come out here and meet you, want to travel, but they can't. Yeah. Because the everyday life, you know, it's like... Consume a, everything. Yeah, yeah every... Yeah, yeah. By the time you get home from work, it's, you know, the day's over. Back yeah. to square one in the morning. Repeat the cycle again. Yes, man. Yeah. So, but... um. Thank you again, yeah, man. and I really appreciate it, man. So next time I come back to Jamaica, hopefully we can make uh, better arrangements. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's hard to get in touch with them sometimes, yeah, you know? True, 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 true. Yeah, so, um, yeah, man, so. Yeah, and this is, yeah. uh, this is Garfield right here. Yeah, I just yeah. want to say uh, thank you, Garfield, for everything, man. You've, no problem, been, man. you've been great. You and your daughter have been yes. great to me. Um, in fact, you guys make this my second home. I feel like I do have family member here now. Yeah. So when I come back, I know where I can come to yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and see, you know? So really appreciate you and your time and everything you've been doing for me, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah, man. Serve, yeah, man. serve and protect him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So, so guys, I um, appreciate, appreciate your coming, man, and, you know, making that bold move. Because yeah. trust me, the first time we were going, we were traveling as well. We never know what to expect. Even, even the other day when we went to St. Vincent, we went there not knowing what to expect, you know? And when we went there, we received so much love. So sometimes you have to just, you know, take the leap of faith. Yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah you have to just get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And you just, you know, make the move. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people tell you, when we were in Colombia, a lot of persons were telling us, ah, you got to be careful. Yeah. Because yeah. common sense, you know? You're, yes. gonna, you're gonna protect yourself, but at the end of the day, you can't let fear stop cripple you, man. Because yeah. fear, you. fear is a thing that cripples us, you know. Yep. You know, fear will, fear will, will, will make a person um, afraid to drive, make a person afraid to, to travel. You know, that side of things. Mm. So you just have to 
you know, just make up your mind and, and go for it. So I'm really happy that you, you know, you come to Jamaica despite not knowing anybody, anything about yeah. Jamaica. And, nothing, yeah. man, nothing. And nothing. even seeing some bad reviews and comments about Jamaica too. Yes. You know, but you still decided to yeah. come. And um, see, you, you, you landed with, you know, somebody who will protect you for mm -hmm. the time that you're here. Yeah, man. Yes. So Mr. Garfield, big up yourself again. Oh, yeah, man. It's amazing this man is a policeman, you know what I mean? Yeah. What, what's the odds? Yeah. We are the most dangerous community in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing though, Garfield, that the, the, the things that you hear about Jamaica, right? From people from across broad and probably the internet and so on, it's not very pleasing, right? Yeah. So already they're creating this fear into you yes. so when you landed you your first thing yeah, you think you can get robbed or yeah, you know what i mean right, so right, they're right. making you feel it's the wrong word the most most feared community not the most dangerous the most feared community. yeah mm -hmm. and and it's not like to say that jamaica is perfect or any part of the world is perfect you you still gonna have your uh you know yeah uh, yeah like, like i there. tell people you know the, like every place you go you, you will find a little bit of everything good yes. bad so, indifference yeah, you know it's up to you to create that 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 positive energy. Cause people always ask me, um, why I say me out here without fear. Like it's not just something I say, it's not just a slang, it's it's a way of creating that positive vibe around myself in my own circle. I get you know? goosebumps because just by you saying that you, <laughs> yeah. just by you saying that, that's yeah. a uh, you know, I view every word as a seed, right? Yeah. And, and 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 you're nurturing somebody out there that's trying to practice that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And hopefully yeah. But you keep saying that, man, they'll, they'll have that courage to get up and, and make that move, you know? Yeah, so, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. They can tell you. We, the other day, we were in, um, we in St. Vincent. Papi is here. Papi can tell you. We were on the, we were on the speedboat. Before we left, you know, you know, my said, yeah, man, we're out here without fear and, and thing. <laughs> that no means I'm not afraid enough. Yeah. <laughs> like, but I but have to tell myself that because... Yeah. The yeah. moment I yeah. put that fear in my say, you know, I'm going to go up on the boat. Yeah. I'm going to miss my chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, at one point I went on the, what they call the bow, like that, the front part of the yeah. boat. And the boat was going real fast and oh, it was like no. jumping. Yeah. And I said, yo, let me off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because common sense. You know, me saying me out here without fear, no means I'm going to see the fire and jumping out. Mm. It just simply means that, you know, I'm willing to forgive. A chance, a chance and, yes. and take a chance yes, and make yes, that, yes. that move. Yes. Yeah. The 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 other thing about um, the the fear part, right, is when I was driving from Maryland to New York because my flight was at JFK, right. So mm -hmm. all these crazy thoughts, oh man, should just we should cancel this flight, you know, just like it, <laughs> because I'm going by myself, I'm traveling yeah. by myself. I was like, man, I shouldn't go, man. I like, and then I landed just. Bad. So once I settled in at um, your daughter's Airbnb, yeah. I called my son. I said, Nick, I overcome it. Now this is going to open a new path for me because I overcome that, yeah. that barrier. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's like I got over that barrier. So now this opened up a new path for me. Yeah. So if, you, if you're living like with that fear, man, you got to just let it go and, and, yeah, and, and, and move. Yeah, man, you, just, you just feel like, you know, you just, you just have the crowd cheering for you. Mm. You know, you might not see them, but it's there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, everybody's cheering. You, you overcome now, you know. Yeah, man. You can man. move past all of that now. Exactly. You, can, you know, inspire somebody just like how I inspire you. Somebody might be watching this and say, oh, wow. You yeah. know, if you can do this, then I can do this as well. If I can you know? do it, anybody can do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and if you can do it, <laughs> anybody, anybody definitely can do, can do it. You know, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Because I have people from both days who live abroad. They say, nah, come back. Mm -hmm. nah, come back over here. Because something I'm nah, come back. I say, what I say? This is home. Yeah. What are you going to do? You're going to go, you're going to, go to the place where you're looking at them. You're not going there. You're going to exactly, the exactly. Mm -hmm. like, this is a man, that's a stranger. Yeah, exactly. You're going to come here. And yeah. It's yeah, it's, yeah. It's, a life, it's a life changing experience, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, actually, what, actually, yeah, man. There's a lot, of, there's a lot to see, man. A lot of beautiful <laughs> places, man, and and thing, man. You know, even even some of the areas where they tell you you, you should not go. There are some of the nicest people living there, yeah, just yeah. the same. Yeah, One yeah. or few bad people might be there, but not everybody is all bad, you know. Mm -hmm. Not yeah. everybody is all not bad. Everybody is yeah. all bad. So. Yeah, man, I um, just the, appreciate the, you for coming. Thank you, man. Um, one last thing, the, the, the Columbia trip, right? Yeah. The Columbia, right? Right, yeah. I hear, also hear like, some really bad stories about that. How did your crew as a whole 
feel making this trip because if they're with you, right? Yeah. I could see that they're you're like their guide, you know what I mean? The the right, protector right. in a sense, you know what I mean? All right. So with the Columbia trip, it was only me, Papi, and and Climber. Yeah. Yes, three of us. So um, automatically, they, as I say, you know, they they they, they two draw inspiration for me. So once MC say, you know, I'm willing to do this. Them know me now. I put them in a no danger and yeah, in a yeah, no arms way and thing. You know, me feel like them have that trust and confidence mm -hmm. in me for, you know, do my best to protect them. Yes, yes. Yeah, and you know, once as as I say, once we decided that we're gonna go there, everybody just comfortable, yeah. and we, like we say, we just putting ourselves out there, you know, in in the open mm -hmm. with with a positive energy yes. as a shield, you know. Yes, you, so can, any, you could see that on, yeah. the, on the screen so as any, well. But like we were literally there, we have our phone, and people telling us, um. Put up the phone. Yeah, I don't say, you know, don't be cautious, you know. But at the end of the day, that would be like um, you telling me, don't leave your house, because if you leave your house, you might book your tour. Mm. But I <laughs> still have to leave yeah, out yeah. of my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting in my house all day, nothing is going to happen. Mm. You know, the beauty about life is not knowing what will take place oh, next. Oh, tell me about it, man. Yeah. You know? Landing here, that, that's, that's, that's a, like, landing here alone is like, yeah. Y'all do not ima imagine what I was going through. Man. Why the hell am I here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. But, but the universe, you know, have a way of, of working in our favor based, as I say, on, on our energy. Because mm. trust me, me, me believe in that. You know, what you surround yourself with, follow you. Yes. So if you get up every day and think negative or oh, you know, automatically that becomes a part of you. That's like that's like that circle I was talking about earlier. The the family, uh, you know, you observing their yeah, information yeah, and so yeah, on, and yeah. that would that's what you're gonna take out. That's where you're gonna, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so. that's, that's what you feed yourself. Mm. You know, but you know, you wake up and you know you see something you want and you go and get it. Mm -hmm. You know, yep, yeah, that's man, it, man. Make the move, man. Yeah. yeah, man. So to anybody watching, you know, if you're living in whatever fear or doubt. You know, not saying you're going to see the fire and jump in it, but I mean, there's a part around it, man. Walk over there, some man. You know, there's a, different, there's a different way to get around it than to go through. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's like what I told my brother. My brother lived like uh, 45 minutes away from me, right? And my mom stayed with me, right? My mom is not like, uh, I don't know how to say this so people don't feel like, like you know. Yeah. She, well, let's say she can't work like normal people, right? right. But um, I'll... So my brother, a lot of time you get off of work, don't come down and see her, you know. So one day I said, look, man, do something you normally wouldn't do. Basically, I was trying to get him to come see his mom, you know, like spend yeah. time with her. So the routine that you do every day, change that change routine it. because when you change that routine, it opens different paths for you, you know. So um, if you guys are there it's like living, you know, with that cycle and you feel like you can't get out, but I know each and every one of you, there's a burning desire to do something great with your life and so on. Uh, I'm not saying my life is perfect, Carl's life is perfect. We all still have our ups and downs, yes, right? Definitely. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that we're gonna stagnate ourselves and live in that circle, keep repeating the same thing over and over. The last thing you wanna do is be in your bed with the last couple of hours to live and have a lot of regrets, you know? Yeah. So you gotta go out there and take that chance, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, and even, even with us, you know, doing this, uh, creative cooking that's how it started for me you know because at one point uh, when you know growing up in, in in jamaica we just used to um your mother might cook you know dumpling today rice tomorrow dumpling so how oh, me start getting to creative creativity you now i said no sir i want to change this mm -hmm. like the cycle i want to change the cycle you know yeah. so i started adding different things and mixing different things but at first because a lot of persons are afraid of change and they're afraid of different. The comfort they like. Yeah, the, yeah. and if, you, if you're not strong mm -hmm. within, within yourself, they will make you um, afraid of change too. Yeah. Because exactly. when we started, a lot of people were laughing, you know, they were saying, why are they, they are crazy? You know, them so pies themselves. But no, I, look, at, look at us now, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Colors. Yeah. Because, it's because of you guys, I could see y'all all over the internet now. Yeah, yeah. Every, I like, can see it. Everybody I can know. see you guys. You know, everybody know, you know, we see coconut dumping people all over. Yeah, you know, that's right. Just coming to try it and different things that we have done. 
And like I say, I remember the initial stages when it was just the team and you know, people when we post the first video, people usually say all kind of things. Mm. All type of things. But like it come back down to, you know, taking that move and, and, and stand strong with it. Yeah. Well, um, the, the the first trip out to Jamaica, right? That was your first time leaving out? First time. Panama. Um, yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you this, right? And I know some audience also probably was wanting to ask you too. When you decide to make that move, what, what was it like? What, what made you decide to jump, you know, get on a plane and, and, and fly out? All right. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, well, ever since growing up, we used, to, we used to just see the plane passing in the sky and, you know, as a child, we said, boy, one day more I forgot on a plane, <laughs> yeah, you know? <yeah. laughs> Always wanted to. Mm -hmm. Never, never had the resources or the opportunity. So the moment, you know, we saw that, you know, you know, so we can do this. I mean, it was a bit scary, like I say, because yeah. of course you're going into a new territory. A new territory, yes. Yeah, a different environment. So you probably felt the way I was feeling. Coming yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you don't know anybody there. Mm. You don't know what to expect, as I said before. You know, but we just make up our mind and say, you know, we're gonna do this. Because if we, if we remain with that fear. You would never leave here. Uh, yeah, and as I say, we're gonna, we're gonna get old and yeah. lay down on the bed with the last breath and having that regret. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, having that regret. Yeah. That a, a, lot big, of, a lot of things, man. Even, even, even Climber, he lived with me now for uh, three plus years, basically. And even, like, I remember the first time, like, taking, taking him in. A lot of those doubts were going through my mind. I mean, I say, oh, wonder if I can do this. Wonder if I can manage. Because mm -hmm. remember, I have responsible for him now. Yeah, fully, yeah, yeah. You know, 100%. Yeah. 100%. School. Yeah. Everything. You know, and like that was just going through my mind. But at the end of the day, uh, he just finished school. Congratulations, couple, yeah, man. Yeah, just finished school now. Yeah, yeah. And he was able to go to school every day since, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he never shot of anything like, so sometimes we don't know what will happen, but we just have to make that step. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we just that have was to that do. was a big, big step there. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, but that, that runs deep, you know. But you know, <laughs> I know very, very, deep. <laughs> very, very deep. Yeah, 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 man. So um, again, colors. Um, thank you so much, man. To you guys, them um, really appreciate everything you guys been doing. This is a good dude, you know. So. Um, yeah, man. Uh, really appreciate yeah. everything you done, man. Appreciate Thank you for inspiring me, man. Blessings, man. Blessings, man. Blessings, man. Blessings, if man. it wasn't for you, I won't be here today. Appreciate you that. You saw man. an idea. You nurtured an idea that I had. And by watching it over and over, it grew. It grew. And nice. it gave me that passion to go out there and do nice. it, right? Nice, nice, Yeah, nice. really appreciate yeah, man. everything, yeah, man. man. So. Bless up, man. Bless up, man. That is it, you know? That is it. So big up again. Respect, up. respect, respect. Yeah, man. All that right. is it. Uh -huh. That is it. Yeah, so people, that is, that is it. Like and subscribe, yeah? And check out this channel. Um, Fire TV. Fire TV. Yeah. Yeah, man. People, what are we waiting for? The guy, the, the, the man literally book a trip, three days, <laughs> just to come link up with the team and share, you know, his story, yeah. you know, of his journey. And, you know, we want to see more of it. So, uh, do the right thing. One thing, uh, I'm brand new. I'm not as good as him yet, right? <laughs> but remember, I'm gaining an audience because I want to share my message. I want to take it to the younger people to, you know, give them that, like, if I can do it, if colors can do it, you guys can do it too, right? Yeah. So, thank yeah. you guys. Peace. Peace out. Colors again, man. Blessings.